Naomi Thompson here. Just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about something that has absolutely been weighing heavy on my heart. Um, I see a lot of people out there that just give up. They, they throw in the towel. I'm not just talking about business. I'm talking about, you know, things in general. I want to start by giving you a little bit of a snapshot of my life from a young child. When I was a young child, I had the opportunity, and, and I did do it, I had the opportunity to be like on a morning show along with my classmates. The morning show was called Omelette at that time. And we got on there and, you know, we sung our little song because music's always music's always been key for me. I've always I've always loved music and theater. Those were my two main things. All right, let's fast forward just a little bit further into uh, my high school years where um, I received awards through the fine arts department for being in school plays, for being in performing choir, for having solo parts. And, you know, boom, that went big. Everybody says, yay, yay, yay. Naomi's going to be in this big music field. She's going to really do this. This is her thing. Well, let's fast forward just a little bit further. When um, I was still in my high school years, um, we had what was called a career day. We had where people would come in from different colleges, different schools, and, you know, get us, getting us prepared for college and going out into the career world. Well, I was sitting with a group of my classmates inside of this career day, um, and a lady was up giving um, sort of like uh, a speech or a spiel. And one of the ladies was a part of um, a modeling magazine. I can't remember which one it was at the time. I can't remember if it was Cosmo, Casablanca, or which one. Well, there I was sitting there. And the lady says, hey, I can tell that you take really, really good care of your hands. I can tell that, that you know, you take this step and that step to, to really take care of your hands. Well, little did she know, I really didn't put a lot of thought into my hands. I did and I didn't. Um, it wasn't like I went every two weeks to get manicures and you know everything was in place and everything like that and she said you you definitely are going to be up for an awesome career in being a hand model all right i received a letter uh from from this particular uh college or or um magazine wanting me to be a hand model how many of you know that I didn't do it? I let my fear set in. Didn't do it, didn't take the step. Could have been further along than what I am now. Let's fast forward just a little bit further. I still kept my singing going somewhat. Uh, I performed for weddings, banquets, civic centers. I mean, I did all of this. My aunt at that time was still living. She says to me, Naomi, I want to send in a recorded tape of you to Star Search. It was Star Search back then. I looked at her and I said, I can't do that. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I'm not this and I'm not that. Anyway, I thought of every excuse that I could think of to not do this. Every excuse in the book. And all it was, all it was was fear. Fear set in. Fear stopped me each time, each stepping stone. That, that, that I had opportunities to do big things with my life, I let my fear set in. I, I stopped my, my vision. I, I stopped my dreams. All because in the background people were telling me, you're not good enough or you can't do it. And then I listened enough to them that I felt that I wasn't good enough or I couldn't do it. How many of you have did that very same thing? Well, let me tell you something. Why? 
why would you listen to people that would tell you you can't do it or you can't make it or and these same people that are telling you this let me remind you they don't have vision they don't have a dream they don't have anything that they're doing with their life but yet they're going to tell you that you can't do and my reasoning for telling you a little bit about me and a little bit about my snapshot in my music and my modeling career is to let you know that I still have not given up going forward on my dreams. And if you want to listen to anybody, of course you can listen to anybody that you would like. But I'm sitting here telling you about snapshots in my life and the mistakes I made so that possibly you won't do the same thing. If you've got a dream, a vision, and a purpose, by the grace of God, you keep that dream, that vision, that purpose going. Don't let anybody stifle you. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Most of all, don't give it away. Don't give it away. Because you are giving your dream away and you're letting other people steal what you work hard for and they don't value it the same way that you do. I just wanted to take a few minutes just to let you know that. Any type of business opportunity you start, any type of modeling music career that you start, don't, don't start and stop, start and stop because you're that much further behind. I did it. I made the mistake. And this is me telling you, you can do anything. You can do anything through Christ who strengthens you. You can do anything. You can pursue your dreams. You can take those dreams and you can turn them into reality. Do not let anybody stifle or steal your joy. This is Naomi Thompson telling you to keep continuing to pursue your divine purpose. I will catch you on the next video.